This is step number four of the Havana twist hairstyle. And in this step, I will be showing you how to do Havana twist in the very back of your head. This seems to be the biggest problem when it comes to doing braids or extensions or any type of look because we don't have eyes on the back of our head. So I will show you step by step how you are going to do the same exact thing to the very back of your head for your Havana twist hairstyle. Here we are at the very back of my head and I'm extremely comfortable with doing the back of my head because it's really easy for me. I've been doing hair for a while so it's second nature but if you're a beginner it will be troublesome especially if this is your very first time doing your hair. But one thing I want you to be comforted about is that when you are doing the back of your head, you're going to do the same technique you were doing in the front of your head, but you just have to play around with your arm positioning as you're reaching to the back. So everything is still consistent. You still are twisting in the same direction and continuing to work your way down until your twist is finished. So I'm gonna go through the motions through detangling my hair, applying my gel, and twisting my section. So I'm gonna go to my table right now and grab my comb. And then I'm going to bring it up and I'm just going to detangle my section of hair. Now I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm going to divide these two sections here. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of gel and apply it to both ends. As you can see, I am parting consistent like what you were doing at the front of your head. You're just gonna divide it right in half. So it's kind of like two small rectangles. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your hair and you're going to locate that middle section like you've always done. But this time, you're just going to bring your arms to the back of your head. You're going to place the middle area right against your scalp like you've always done. And you're going to take that top piece of hair like we have been doing the entire style and put it over your head. And then you're going to rest your hand there. Grab the hair at the bottom and twist counterclockwise. Nothing has changed. The only difference is that your hands are awkwardly in the back of your head, but you will get used to it. Now you're going to grab that top section and you're going to twist that counterclockwise as well. Making sure to gather all of your hair together. So since this is taking place on the left side of my head, what I'm going to do is hold both of these pieces and bring my hand over to the left side. So what I've done is I freed my right hand to bring it around to the left side so I can twist easier. So now what you want to do is take this top piece, put it over the bottom piece like we have always done. Put it right over the bottom piece and continue to twist each section counterclockwise. So we're gonna twist a little bit down about two or three times and then fold it over Twist this section about two or three times. Bring it over, and you're going to continue to do the same thing you've done at the very top of your head. The reason why some of you that are watching may have a problem with doing the back of your head is because it's very intimidating. And I understand, it's hard to see back there. You don't know what's going on. You don't know how it looks. And that's why it's very important that you have mirrors to help you. Right now, I am not using any mirrors. I can just go by feel and I'm pretty used to it. So I can just twist my hair and I have a problem with it. But if you can't see and you're having problems, my best suggestion is to get two stand up mirrors. You wanna get mirrors that could just stand up alone on its own. You're gonna position one in front of you and position one behind you. So that way you can see the reflection of the back of your head as you are doing your hairstyle. Also, you could even go to your bathroom with your stand-up mirror and position your mirror with a chair behind you so that way you can see your reflection from the mirror in front of you in your bathroom. So whatever works for you, whatever you're willing to try, you just have to make sure that you can see the very front of your head and the very back of your head as you're doing your hairstyle. 
So the same method applies even though you're in the back of your head. You're just going to continue to twist counterclockwise each section and then you take the top piece and put it over the bottom piece. To review over this step of the Havana Twist hairstyle, I showed you how to do the invisible roots method in the very back of your head. This is an area that will be much difficulty for you if you are not used to doing this style, let alone actually twisting the very back of your head. But just know the same exact technique applies. When you're in the front of your head, the same way you've parted your hair, sectioned your hair, and twisted your hair applies to the very back of your head. You're going to grab each section one at a time and you're going to twist counterclockwise. And then you locate your other section, which is the top, and you twist that counterclockwise. And then your top piece goes over the bottom piece as you continue to twist each individual piece counterclockwise. So just continue to practice at twisting the back of your head. Even though it may feel awkward or different, just know that if you do the same exact technique and practice as you do in the front, you will achieve the same results in the back. So continue working on that as you complete your look. So in the next step, step number five, now that your twists have been twisted, I will show you how to curl the ends of your Havana twist.